June 20th, 2023, and I've got three free best bets. Let's dive into it. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Noble Living back with another DYF Bets video where I'm breaking down my favorite picks, plays of the day, just trying to help you make some bread and money. Yesterday, we got back on the winning track on the channel. We needed it. We needed it. We needed it. Two and one of the day. Almost had the sweep. We cashed it on the project's first five money line. No sweat bet. Osvaldo Beto did get the walks right there at the end in his last inning. He got us that second walk. We did lose on the two-team parlay as the Reds and Rockies did go over eight and a half. But the Brewers and D-backs, the D-backs scored one run in the top of the ninth to push us over to 10. And that was disappointing. We were one inning away from a sweep, but it's all good. But we're back again today, two and one on the day. You can see our year today record right here, still over 500. Let's continue to build it. Let's continue to stack it. And let's dive into the first play. And as always, make sure you're liking and subscribing to the channel so you can stay up to date on all my favorite picks. Let's get it. So for my first best bet of the day, I'm looking at the Yankees and I'm going to the first five money line on this one. And I've got minus 124 on FanDuel. And in this matchup, we've got Garrett Cole on the mound, their ace, and he's pitching against George Kirby, one of the best pitchers for the Mariners. And Cole, he's truthfully been in really great form. Seven and one in the year, 2.75 ERA. And over his last three starts, he went six innings in each of those matchups. He faced the Mets, he faced the Red Sox and the Dodgers. So two to three really decent offenses there. And he gave up four hits, one earned run against the Mets, seven hits, and two earned runs against the Red Sox. And then against the Dodgers, he gave up four hits and one earned run. So you can see that type of form. He's not giving up a ton of runs. And because of that, I love to see that. He's still striking a good amount of batters. And that's what I really love to see. Now, on the other side, we have got George Kirby, who's on the mound for the Mariners, 6-5 and five in the year, 3.24 ERA. He just has not been as consistent as Cole, even though he still has been strong. In his last start against the Marlins, he went six innings to give up three hits, one run, and ten strikeouts. But in his game before that against the Padres, at the Padres as well on the road, three and two-thirds innings, 11 hits, five earned runs, and one home run. So that's not what we want to see. So he has a good start, he has a bad start, he has a good start, he has a bad start. So that type of inconsistency, it's hard to back. He did face these Yankees back on May 31st, and in that game, he did have a strong outing, went eight innings, gave up three hits and no runs, which was a 1-0 win in extra innings for the Mariners there. But that matchup was at home, so I have to take that with a grain of salt. So he's on the road again today, going to Yankee Stadium. And like I said, his last matchup again on the road against the Padres, he got beat up pretty bad now we do know the Yankees offense is not all the way healthy we're still without judge we're still without some of the weapons but I think the Yankees still have enough players to where they can still get a run or two off of Kirby and I think the form that Cole has been in is too good to overpass and then when you keep in mind that the Mariners are one of the top strikeout teams in all of baseball they're second to last in the majors in terms of strikeouts per game so they strike out a ton you got Garrett Cole who's a big strikeout pitcher this matchup favors the Yankees especially in the first five we know that Kirby can give up a few runs I think Cole is the better pitcher but more consistency here so give me Garrett Cole and the Yankees first five money line as my first best bet of the day as I think we're getting pretty good value on it for my second best bet of the day I'm headed to a no run first inning. I'm going with a nerfy on this one I'm going to the Rangers and the White Sox I've seen minus 120 on bet MGM on this one again shop around your book to find the best odds and value and we've got Nathan Avaldi on the mound for the Rangers again Against Dylan Seeds for the White Sox. Two pitchers that I love to back when it comes down to Nerfies. Two aces who really hold it down. Evaldi's 12 and 2 on the year in Nerfies. He's hit his last nine in a row. So hopefully we can get 10 in a row today. And Dylan Cease is 13 and 2 on the year on Nerfies, hitting his last seven in a row. So again, two guys who are really strong in Nerfies. They get it done in the first inning. Don't give up a ton of runs. The White Sox have an 80% Nerfy success rate. Haven't scored a run in the first inning in four straight matchups. The Rangers are a little bit stronger in the first inning, only a 72% Nerfy success rate, including scoring one in the first inning in their last matchup. But I, like I said, I like Dylan Cease, I like Nathan Abaldi, two really strong pitchers who hold it down. Offenses I kind of get going a little bit later. So all we need is six outs. Let's sweat it. 
for our second best bet and our nerfy of the day. And for our third and final best bet, I'm going to the Phillies plus a half run on the first five run line. The best odds I've seen are plus 100 on bet 365. I've seen some minus 105, maybe minus 110. I like that as well. I wouldn't play it any higher than minus 125 though. We have a good pitching matchup that I really am excited to watch because I think this one could go either way. We've got Spencer Strider on the mound for the Braves against Ranger Suarez who's going for the Phillies. Now Spencer Strider, he's had a pretty rocky year and I think this is a matchup where we have a tale of two pitchers, one who's in really good form and one who has not been in the best of form. Now, Ranger Suarez, like, he's been the pitcher, surprisingly or not. But if you look at just the record, Spencer Strider is 7-2. Ranger Suarez is 1-2. But Spencer Strider has a 4.12 ERA, while Ranger Suarez is a 3.82 ERA. Now, when you just look at that, you'll probably be like, well, maybe Strider is the better pitcher here. But truthfully, Suarez has been in the better form. Over his last four starts, he's faced the D-backs, the Dodgers, the Nats, and the Mets. Three teams that hit lefties really well. And then you're talking about two to three decent offensive lineups as well. And with the D-backs and the Dodgers, you can kind of throw the Mets in there, right? I mean, they're a little bit inconsistent. And in those matchups, he went seven innings against the D-backs, four hits, no earned runs, seven strikeouts. In the other three matches with the Dodgers, the Nats, and the Mets, he pitched 19.2 combined innings, four earned runs, one home run, and 15 strikeouts. That right there is spectacular form. When we look at Spencer Strider on the other side, he's coming off a game against Detroit where he went five innings, he gave up seven hits, five earned runs, and three home runs to the Tigers. Three home runs to the Tigers. And then the game before that, he faced the same Mets lineup that Suarez gave up two runs to, and he gave up eight earned runs and two home runs over four innings. So it truthfully, if it wasn't for this Braves offense that has the ability to score a ton of runs, Strider's record would not be what it is and like I said he has a very high ERA despite that 7-2 and two record and those home run numbers are very concerning to me especially when you look at a lineup like the Phillies who have been hitting the ball a lot better their offenses have been getting good especially as they've been getting healthy and you've got guys like Schwarber, Castellanos, Harper any of these guys can turn on a ball at any time and really knock one out of the park or two I just don't really like the form that Strider is in and I think that Schwarber Suarez, the left-handed pitcher, is in much better form at home, and we're getting a half a run in the first five at plus 100 value. I love that here. And all I need is a tie or the Phillies to be in the lead, but I'll take a 0-0-1-1-2-2 tie, and we still cash in on this one. I think that's really good value. So give me the pitcher that's in better form with the offense that's been heating up as well, and I think that we can be able to exploit the fact that the Braves have not been hitting left-handed pitchers as well, and I think Suarez in the form that he's in is much better than Strider. He might give up a home run or two, so you might want to look into a home run prop is in there as well. You can't beat the value that we're getting on this one as my last and final best bet of the day. Well, that's it for me today, my friends. Three picks that I really like. It's been a little second since we've swept the board, so hopefully we can turn that juju around. I'm looking to get the ball rolling this month of June. I'm going to do a smaller challenge during the month of June inside the Telegram group, so make sure you're joining the group. The link is in the bio. Besides the picks that I'm putting out, I'm going to probably start with maybe like a $100 bankroll just so I can start getting back into a rhythm and heat up a little bit and see how quickly we can stack this thing up, maybe to 1000 or maybe to like five thousand or something i haven't decided just yet how much we're going to try to get it to but i do want to start small because baseball has been a little bit rough over the last few months and there's nothing better than starting with a small bankroll to get yourself locked in and focused and if you're trying to be a part of that challenge and stay up to date on some of the picks that i'm taking inside that challenge make sure you're clicking the link in the bio and joining the telegram group and make sure you're dropping a like on this video as well it really helps with the algorithm and pushing the channel further i appreciate all the support let's continue to make some money dictate your fate and let's get after it. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Later, guys.